All right, today our viewer question is, what is the best way to reverse or perhaps alleviate some of the issues of arthritis? Oh my, what an important question for such a, an important condition, a widespread one. Uh, first of all, just to narrow down our focus here, the arthritis literally means inflammation of the joints. And many people who have joint pain really don't have true arthritis. The joint itself is okay, uh, but what's really painful are the supporting tissues, the ligaments and the tendons around the joint, uh, which consists of the bones and the cartilage. Uh, but the tendons and ligaments get sore when people aren't using their joints right and the way that they're uh, using the, their wrists or their fingers or their knees or their back. Uh, in lifting things, turning things, twisting things, these repetitive motions can really inflame the, the tissues. So the wrist is sore, the knee is sore. People say, oh, I got arthritis. No, you don't really have arthritis. The joint is okay, but the ligaments and the tendons around it are sore. Your doctor could help or just feeling around there, you can get an idea. Uh, and it's your joints giving you a message, change something about the way you're using me and uh, have a look at the way you're holding the tool or your tennis racket or how you're lifting or how you're sitting. Uh, that's often the message behind joint pain, which is not necessarily the same thing as arthritis. That said, if you truly do have arthritis, uh, there are uh, two major types. There is a, an inflammatory systemic type called rheumatoid arthritis. Uh, the joints get very hot and painful. And this can be due to autoimmune phenomena that respond very well, first of all, to a brief water fast. It's been well shown that anywhere between a three to seven day water fast really can be effective in cooling off inflamed joints. Now you need to get into fasting gradually to start with a one or two or three day fast. You shouldn't be on any medications if you're doing this. Uh, and there's uh, much literature about uh, doing fasting at home any more than five days. You don't want to do unsupervised at home, but a brief water fast will help. Of course, a whole food plant-based diet uh, will help for a number of reasons. One, if this is rheumatoid arthritis, there seems to be a connection with a particular bacteria, Proteus, uh, that's found in chicken meat as people bring chicken carcasses into the kitchen, slop it around. The proteus bacteria can not only cause urinary tract infections in women, but also uh, cause a cross reactivity in their joints. So a whole food plant-based diet just for what it doesn't have is helpful. And finally, uh, the uh, whole food plant-based diet should be rich in antioxidants and things like blueberries and uh, uh, flax seeds and the whole host of seasoning, cinnamon and cloves uh, and the classic uh, turmeric and, and the Indian gooseberry, the amla. These are all potent antioxidants and they can be very helpful in, in helping extinguish the inflammation in sore joints. And this is finally true uh, as well with the other type of arthritis called osteoarthritis. This is a low-grade inflammation in individual joints, largely probably brought on by both a, a, the standard Western diet full of inflammatory compounds, as well as the hips and the knees and the ankles often get uh, severely damaged by our, by obesity, just grinding down on them. So again, a whole food plant-based diet that helps obesity melt away and is very rich in these antioxidant compounds, especially turmeric, uh, uh, seems to be especially beneficial in osteoarthritis. No more than a teaspoon a day scattered through various meals. Don't be taking handfuls of, of uh, turmeric, uh, but uh, up to a teaspoon a day seems to be helpful as well. So a whole food plant-based diet with plenty of antioxidants and getting yourself a leaner body and listening to your joints to see if there's any particular move that hurts, that's probably a message that you want to change that move. If you do that, uh, your joints will be a whole lot happier. Hi, everyone. Dr. Michael Clapper here announcing our new format for our Q&A with Dr. K. Andy Hagen will be asking me one question that's been sent in by our viewers. So if you want to see if your question is getting answered, do join us for our Q&A with Dr. K right here. Hope to see you then.